Hey folks, how's it going? I hope you're well and welcome to this video. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to cover um, some carriage development, uh, some rolling stock de development. About a year and a half ago, I started working on trying to convert some six wide carriages that I have um, based on the uh, Emerald Knight original carriages, basically over to some seven wide carriages uh, that are, well, they're, they're I suppose more in scale uh, rather than sort of like the, the traditional Lego train scale, which is always six wide and, and, and rather small. But these uh, carriages are quite a step up on the on the railway and they do require more of a flat surface. So they're not going to appear in any uh, train track setups if I manage to get any of those done. But um, if you are interested on in how to build the seven wide carriages, then you can get the instructions in the Lego Trains book, which is by Holger Mathis. And um, I think as far as I'm aware, that's still available on Amazon. If it is still available on Amazon, there will be a link below. Um, it will be an affiliate link, but uh, just be aware of that. But yeah, I'll put a link below to Amazon for the uh, Holger Mathis Lego train book. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, let's uh, go to the halls that I've got. Both, uh, there's Bricklink and uh, the Lego Pick a Brick Wall as well. I ordered a bunch of stuff from uh, Bricklink and then basically went to the Lego store in Edinburgh and found a lot of the pieces that I'd ordered on Bricklink were actually on the, uh, on the Pick a Brick Wall, which is, uh, which is good in a way because it meant I could stock up fairly quickly, but um, kind of slightly annoying because I'd already made the Bricklink orders. But uh, I also got some parts that I, I would never have got um, on a pick a brick wall. So let's take a look at the uh, hall and then uh, you can have a look at the carriages that I'm building as well. So I've already gone through the uh, envelopes anyway, but uh, these are the parts that really, well, will certainly help. I've got a bunch of the larger plates, but some of the parts are fairly important. Um, I do have a habit of going in and looking if they've got any pigs anywhere. So uh, that's one little piggy. Anyway, I just, uh, I like the little farm animals and things like that. So these are fairly important. They just go underneath the carriages in the corner and just help with the, uh, the articulation of the bogies. They go here. At the moment, I've only got gray ones um, and well, the black ones are to replace all of those. So that's why I've got those. They're very handy indeed. Next up, it's just a small haul of uh, various different parts that are gonna be used in the assembly. So lots of different plates really. Uh, two by four plates, one by six, and uh, these uh, little clips. Uh, more two by four plates. And then finally, yeah, just a bunch more useful bricks and plates. This is a different, or this is from a different shop. So that's one by eight. I got this random part. I saw it in the shop and I thought I would get it as well more American style, uh, just more bricks really, useful bricks, one by two, one by four, one by six, more two by four plates, again. It's amazing, You th sometimes you think you've got a lot of a certain type of brick and then you actually go looking in your collection and you realize that you don't actually have that many. So I've probably got too many two by four bricks now, um, but they will get used at some point in the future, two by three. Oh, and another, yeah, some other stuff I got is just randomly, I got uh, a small otter from, these come from the Harry Potter sets, uh, I think 2020 sets, and a small glittery rabbit. And that was pretty cool as well. And then from the uh, pick a brick walls, really, it's just the same, really, more one by six plates, two by four plates. Um, yeah, lots of leaves as well, just to help with uh, some foliage eventually. I'll open this up. Some one by two tiles, which are blue, the trans clear blue 
for water, things like that. And yeah, like I said, some bit of greenery to go in the trees and everything like that. So two cups of all of that type of brick should hopefully allow me to build a fair, well, at least two more of these seven wide carriages. These will be uh, really good. And these are gonna be getting pulled by, um, well, at least one of the Emerald Knights anyway. Um, the Emerald Knights I'm slowly converting over to power functions again. Um, I think I'll put that in a different video. Someone actually um, said, uh, they, when I said that I'm converting it, I, I put a post on Instagram and I said I'd put it over to PF and someone didn't know what PF was, power functions. So I think I will do a standalone video just for power functions because there is a whole generation now getting into Lego and they don't know about power functions. It's like, um, yeah, Lego changes something and then new people come back to Lego or get into Lego and uh, uh, take it for granted that people know what came before, I suppose. So uh, I'll, uh, I'll do a separate video on that. But this is uh, just a video, just all about the, yeah, the seven wide carriages that uh, you could, if you wanted to build, if you have the instructions by Holger Mathis. These are, um, the color scheme is different because I had purple carriages before I was using. So uh, we've got the six wide purple carriages, which are loosely designed and based on the carriages from the Emerald Knight. Uh, these are of course based on instructions from Holger Mathis, but the color scheme is the, uh, well, the purple Duncton livery. I've got a red liveried carriage as well. I may make some uh, seven wide red carriages. I don't know. We'll see how many parts I've actually bought. Hopefully I've got enough for another two of these carriages. Um, but anyway, let's, uh, I'll go for a, we'll uh, go through the, uh, the differences between the two carriages. They're only uh, internal, the, the external is, is pretty much the same. So, uh... okay, so here we have the inside of the carriage. So this is the kind of the first carriage I built and this is the original, pretty much based on the original Holger Mathis instruction set. And as you can see, it's a dining car. You've just got tables and you've got lamps on the tables, everything like that. And it looks really, really good. The second carriage I've built is just going to be a passenger car. You can see it's just got all the seats in there, a couple of tables in the middle, nothing really special. I am hoping to build a baggage car or luggage car and also a kitchen car possibly, uh, just to go with these. So you'll have sort of a, a uh, yeah, a normal passenger car, a dining car, a kitchen car, and a luggage car. I suppose you need a first class car as well to go with that, but we'll see what happens. I can always convert, I suppose, the passenger car into a first class but uh, with little uh, compartments and things like that. But uh, I don't know how that would fit in a seven wide, but uh, I'm sure it's been done somewhere. But anyway, that's the, uh, that's the type of carriages that uh, will be getting pulled around the, uh, the layout eventually um, also means I can pack them up and uh, go to shows and uh, hopefully run them on railways if uh, other people have set things up. I don't know if I can really move it. I think at the moment everything's a bit, uh, well, my car is very small, especially when you put lots of children in it and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, but the carriages will allow me to sort of hopefully display something if I get the chance. So. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a quick update when it comes to the uh, seven wide carriages and uh, the state of play with what I've been managing to get built. I have made a bit of progress on the layout. I'll leave the layout to another, another video and, uh, and some other things as well, just uh, converting Emerald Knights and things to the power functions. Um, but there are a few more videos coming, which is gonna be good. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching and uh, I will see you in the next one.